Welcome back. You're still watching Power Breakfast on CNBC TV 18. Uh, let's uh, talk about some of the important earnings now which are expected today. Apollo Hospitals is due to report its fourth quarter results. Ekta is back with us to tell us what are we expecting this time around in quarter four. Ekta, tell us more. Thanks for that. Well, Apollo Hospitals and Nifty stock, it is uh, one of the most expensive hospital stocks available today. The Q3, uh, Q4 FY23 revenue is expected to grow around 20 odd percent on a year on year basis. But what we will probably see is margins being flattish on a Q1Q basis and going down on a year on year basis. Profit at around 193 odd crores. Expectations? One of the key things to watch for Apollo will be the performance of their omni-channel arm, which is Apollo Health Co. Remember that in Q3, the EBITDA was dragged down by what was one of the highest ever quarterly investments in Apollo 24-7, which is a part of Apollo Health Co. Margins came in at 11.9% in Q3 on account of those investments. So Apollo Health Co's uh, net loss stood at uh, around 63 odd crores in the previous quarter. 24-7 costs stood at around 202 crores. So what we will be watching for is improvement in those parameters, a couple of other milestones, whether the company is on track to deliver a GMV, which is uh, for 1600 crores, that is what was targeted in FY23. The company has also guided for a health co break even by Q4 of FY24. So whether or not they are still intact uh, in terms of guidance and fundraising for Apollo 24-7 as well. Now, in terms of the hospital business, margins, like I mentioned, would probably decline year on year. Occupancy is expected to be around 64 to 65 odd percent flattish on a Q1Q basis. Pharmacy is probably expected to be aided by store addition. Watch for Apollo Diagnostics picking up as well as the retail health arm picking up. Okay. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Ekta. So that is what is expected from Apollo Hospitals today and important earnings that we are expecting.